Well, um, welcome to Wario's, your new summer job. So this place recently got reopened, and you are in fact the first person to work on this location after its reopening. So that's quite an honor, don't you think? Um, before we begin, you might have heard some rumors or something about something going on here about seven years ago. Uh, just don't worry about that and don't think about it at all. I'm, I'm sure it's just silly rumors of some kind. So you have nothing to worry about. Anyways, your job here is pretty simple. Watch the security cameras around the building to make sure that everything works correctly. This place is pretty old now and we haven't really got much time yet to fix everything around the building. So the rooms are pretty old and dusty and maybe rotten. And the machines might not work correctly. So that's why we need you to keep an eye on things to make sure that everything looks alright. Also, if it should be necessary, you can also put on the lights in the door to your left and also in the window to your right. You can also close off this door and this window. But please only shut those doors and turn off those lights if absolutely necessary. You only have a limited supply of power for now, so we don't really want to waste much money. So, um, yeah, good luck. Just keep an eye on things. Check your cameras pretty fast, I guess, to make sure you don't use too much power. And you shouldn't really have anything more to worry about. You're sitting here until 6 a.m. and someone will come and take your spot. So, again, good luck, and I'll talk to you tomorrow.
Captain, um, you didn't happen to see anything unusual during the night, did you? Like, uh, a machine not working or something? P probably not. Anyways, you did a good job. All machines were working during the day, so just keep it up. Um, about that rumor I mentioned yesterday, um, the, th the thing is, uh, or, or you know what, just never mind, forget about that. Just keep doing what you're doing. Um, I should probably mention though, n not to scare you or anything, but uh, it is a little fact that uh, maybe you should know about. As you might know, the factory closed down seven years ago. And yeah, you probably know that uh, Wario and the rest of the gang who was here, um, well, they were never found. So we don't really know what happened to them. But, but anyways, that's not the point. So six years ago, um, uh, one year after the factory got closed down, a woman passing by the abandoned factory, she claimed to see Wario in the window. Only different. And the same thing happened to a man last year. So we don't really know what they meant by that. Do you know anything about this? Well, during these seven years, it has only happened twice. So they were probably just something they imagined. So yeah, check those cameras, see if everything is working correctly. And only use the doors and lights in case you feel like. So keep up the good work. And I'll talk to you tomorrow.
Hello? Hello, hello? Well, look at that. Your third night. We've done a good job. You've managed to save the power great, so just keep up the good work you've done. Um, there is something that I maybe should mention. The stories around the things that happened seven years ago. Well, they, they are in fact, um, true. Well, nobody knows really what happened. But what we know is that on a Monday about seven years ago, Wario and Waluigi went to work. And as you probably have heard somewhere, they went missing, they never came back from work, and they never came out of the factory. And later the same night, Mario and Luigi, they went into the factory to look for them. But the thing is, they never came out either. And people have also mentioned that Mario's uh, girlfriend or some sort, a Peach or something, I don't know if that's the correct name. She went in to look for Mario when he went missing, and apparently she was never found either. And after Peach disappeared, someone came up with a rumor of the factory being cursed or something, and they decided to close it off. Um, we have not really any clue on what really happened, though some witnesses have said that early in the morning on that same day, an unknown person went into the factory, and uh, yeah, nobody really knew who that person was or anything. And the weird thing is, he never came out either. We also had a Wario costume in the back room. You know, for mascot purposes. And the weird thing, uh, that costume actually disappeared on that same day. So we don't really know where it is. So yeah, the factory has a bit of a dark backstory, I guess. But it looks to have a bright future. By the way, have you been doing something to the machine in the machinery room. We came to work earlier today and the machine was turned off. And as far as we know, these machines are protected with a code of some sort that really only the employees or previous employees know about. You haven't touched that or something, have you? Oh well, it's back on again now. So just hang in there and I will speak to you tomorrow.
You're in position. Well, this is your fortnight. Um, I think that you can take tomorrow and the rest of next week off. We at the company here have decided to close the factory off for a little while. Some things has been going on. The machines keep turning on and off, and there seem to constantly be some kind of glitch in the system. And yesterday, an employee found well, two teeth in the basement. So yeah, weird things has been going on. So we decided to close it off, at least for a while. One could think that there are some intruders trying to get the secret recipe. If you didn't know, Wario and Waluigi had a secret recipe that um, I'm sure many people really wanted to have. Apparently they came up with this recipe at an old location. Yeah, apparently Wario and Waluigi ran a little shop or something before this factory was opened. But it should be very hard for any thieves to get into the factory. If you haven't noticed, this factory has two entrances, and both of those entrances are heavily locked, so any intruder getting in should be impossible. And speaking of intruders and people inside a factory, you haven't heard any voices of some kind? Well, as I was leaving my day shift yesterday, I, I could swear I heard a voice coming from inside a factory. It said something like, stop him and help me or something. I don't know. It's weird though, because it really sounded like that Luigi guy who went missing. So anyways, just get through this night, and you will probably have a day off tomorrow. We'll send you a letter in the mail. And keep an eye out for something... unusual. Anyways, good luck and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Anyways, good luck and I'll talk to you tomorrow again.
Hello? Uh, what are you doing there? Didn't you get the letter? We decided to close off the factory, and uh, now as the factory has been closed off, there really is no way out for you until 6am when the doors open. Yeah, both doors are heavily locked now automatically, from 12am to 6am. So yeah, you're pretty much gonna be there tonight. Uh, just stay where you are, as I'm on my way to the factory now, as a matter of fact. When I get over there, I can try to open the door from the outside, but I doubt I will be able to. Anyways, I read something yesterday that might have a connection of some sort to this factory. I read that if a soul wants to avenge or have a revenge of some sort, their souls may turn evil and confused and even go back to their old bodies. Apparently they can get aggressive against against anything that is similar to what they died of. So not to scare you off or anything, but you haven't seen Wario's body or something walking around in the factory, have you? Well, if you do, then keep safe and avoid eye contact. I'm not really sure what's going on right now. Alright, I'm walking up to the factory now, so let's see if we can get... Thank <laughs> you.